Hi, boys and girls. I'm glad you guys can join me for our last ever math intervention video. Um, for this one, we are going to be reviewing a topic that I've already made a video for, but we're going to look at it um, with different practice questions just so that we get a refresher and you guys don't um, forget how what we count whatever we're doing. All right, so the topic is coins. You guys remember talking about coins from the very beginning of our virtual lessons. Um, we will be doing a review on it, so let's get started. Um, okay, so let's take a look at some of the coins that we have. Can you guys tell me what coin this one is? Just by looking at the picture before I reveal it. Good job. This is a penny and it's worth one cent. Here's our next coin. This is what? Give me the name and give me the value of it. So how many cents is it worth? If you guys want to hint, each coin that I'm showing you guys is going up each time. That's right, this is the nickel and it is worth five cents. All right, here is our next coin. Every single coin I'm showing you guys is the front and the back um, of the coin. This one's the smallest one. Um, I forgot to tell you guys other traits about the previous ones. So this one's the only copper one. It's, only, it's the only coin in this color. Nickel is a little bit bigger than the penny, and it's also a little bit bigger than this next coin that I'm about to show you guys. How much is it worth? It does say it right here. That's right. It is a dime worth 10 cents. Awesome job. I'm going to show you guys one more. Okay, so here's our last coin. It's the biggest coin that you guys typically see. There's other coins worth a lot more, but they're not as common, so we're not going to go over them. So what is the name of this one? That's right, this is the quarter worth 25 cents. Okay, so now we're going to, actually, you know what? Um, since it is our last math intervention video, I wanted to show you guys a really quick and cute um, YouTube video about counting coins. And then before, I'm mean, sorry, before I end the video for this week or um, for today, I am going to be showing you guys some practice questions. Okay, so here is the YouTube video. Count on two dimes. 
There are 35, 45 cents. Now there are a lot of coins, so we should use a different way to count. How can you sort coins to find the total? When you have a lot of different coins, you can sort them into like groups and then count. Then you skip count to find the total. Let's see. The dime is worth the most. 10, 20. Then we count on two nickels. 25, 30. Now we count on two pennies. 31, 32. There are 32 cents total. Cool! More coins! First, sort the coins. We start with 25 cents. Then we count the dimes. 35, 45. Then we count the nickels. 50, 55. Then we add on three pennies, 56, 57, 58 cents. Sometimes, when you have a lot of coins, you can group them in different ways to help you count. How can you group coins to help you count? You can combine different coins to make numbers that are easier to add. Let's see. I can start with 25 cents, but I can add a nickel to make 30 cents. 30 is an easy number to work with because it ends in zero. Then I can add the dime to get to 40 cents. Now I just count on the pennies to find the total. 41, 42 cents. Right, Moby. You can combine a few coins to make an easy number to work with before you add other coins. I can skip count the nickels first. Five, ten, fifteen cents. Now it's easy to add on the dime to get twenty-five cents. Then I can add the quarter, fifty cents. Hey, wait a minute. I've got some coins in my pocket. I've got three pennies, which is the same as three cents. Let's add them together. 50 cents plus 3 cents is equal to 53 cents. So, how much money do you have saved up? It's a secret? Anyway, Moby, finding a penny is good luck. You know what they say. Find a penny, pick it up. All the day you'll have good luck. <sighs> er, maybe not. Okay, scholars, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. It is time for our practice question, so let's take a look at the first one. So having gone over the value of each of the coins that we know, we have the penny worth one cent, nickel worth five cents, uh, dime worth 10 cents, and then the quarter worth 25 cents. Let's answer this question. It says, Anna has two quarters, two quarters, three nickels, and two dimes. How much money does Anna have? If you guys have a pencil and paper, that would be the best to work with because it's actually a lot of numbers we're going to be adding up. But um, write down the value of each coin that she has and then add them up, and then you guys will be here with the answer, and I will reveal it in a little bit. All right, take this time to work on it. Remember, she has two quarters, three nickels, and two dimes. How much money does Anna have? I'll give you all about 20 seconds. Okay, scholars, pause the video here if you need more time. I'm going to head to reveal the answer in three, two, and one. 
So uh, the answer is 85 cents. Good job if you guys got that. What I did, my strategy was I took the two quarters because I know two quarters together is 50 cents. That's 25 plus 25. And then I took two dimes because that's easier to add on. So I had 50 from the 20, or sorry, I had 50 cents from the two quarters and two dimes is equal to 20 cents. So that together, 50 plus 20 equals, what is it guys? Good job, 70 cents. 70 cents and then I have three nickels. That's um, five, five, and five. So I know two fives equals 10. So 70 plus 10 equals 80. 80 and then I'm left with five left. So that makes it 85 cents. That was the answer to this question. I have one more and I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Here's what it says. Joseph has two dimes and one dollar. How much money does Joseph have? All right, this is all on you guys. Two dimes and one dollar. I will be back with the answer in about 20 seconds. All right, the answer is $1.20. So good job if you guys got that. I know this because I have the $1. So right here, $1. And then two dimes equals 20 cents. So that is one twenty. Great job today, guys. Okay, scholars, that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed our intervention videos. I really enjoyed making them. And I'm really sad that this school year has come to an end in a virtual setting. But um, I am very excited that it is summertime, um, not only for myself, but for you guys, because you guys deserve to have this extended break without having to worry about school. Hopefully by, this, um, by the fall time, we will be able to return on campus and I can see everyone's faces again and everything is back to normal and then we can learn every single day the way we are used to um, but that is the end of our intervention videos and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day oh okay I don't know where the slide is to say goodbye but have a good one